So another thing you need to consider besides space is timing. Because all of these different types of plants have different times that they require uh, to grow, to germinate, and to be ready for planting in the spring. We like to have plants ready at the beginning of May. Some people like their plants at the end of April. It just depends on the weather, and we won't know that till we get there. So it's kind of a really hard process where you're planning in January for what's going to happen in May. But that's the way it works. So you have to consider what you're going to grow, how much germination time everything's going to need, and then how much growth time it's going to need, and when you're going to do the uh, repotting of things from smaller to larger pots. So it does take some timing and it's a really good idea to have a calendar and some spreadsheets and um, hopefully I'll be able to share some of my spreadsheets with you um, and some of their systems with you as we go through this process. But I love spreadsheets. I'm a spreadsheet guru. I, Excel is my friend. I've been using spreadsheets for more years than most people on, on this planet. And I consider them a friend. So you need to make sure that you document what you do. Not only because you want to make sure you're doing it right, but any documentation you do now is going to help you next year. Because you can look back at it and go, oh, look, this plant didn't germinate. Or this one germinated at a higher rate than I expected. Or this plant took long to germinate. Or this one was really fast. So any notes you can keep on your process are going to help you in the long run do this process more successfully and get honed so you can get better and better at running your own marketing.